Hello, thanks for joining and watching my channel today. My name is Tracy St. Louis and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ottawa, Canada, and you're watching For the Love of Stamping. Today I'm going to feature a new stamp set that's coming out in the Celebration catalog and it's called Adorable Owls. You'll find it on page four of the Stampin' Up! Celebration catalog and we're going to use this owl right here. Also for the card today, I'm um, using a new die set out of the mini catalog that launched, launches January of this year. And we're going to use the Alphabet a la mode to die cut a few of the letters and this little tiny heart. So let me show you the card that I made originally. <clears throat> and I am going to change it up a wee bit, but not too much. So here's our card. We're going to require some supplies and if you want to craft along as I'm doing this I think what I'll do is I'll give you all the supply list items that you need so that you can do that. So we're going to start with a base of white and it is going to be a tent fold type card. It measures the four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half. Then you're going to die cut a piece of white cardstock using the largest frame from the deckled rectangle dies and we'll die cut that piece out. For the letters, you're going to die cut from the alphabet a la mode, the letters hugs, H-U-G-S, and this little tiny heart here. So we're gonna need about five of the little red hearts and of course the letters. So here's the letters that we're gonna die cut. I pre-cut those as well as, um, here, I'll just move these out of the way, as well as five or six of these little red hearts. I cut six in case I, I lose one, which uh, wouldn't be surprising. Um, this little red heart here is uh, from the Give It A Whirl dies, but all you really need is just a little red heart from any punch that you might have. So that's this die. And to do the larger hearts, we're going to use the heart punch pack. So you'll, die, you'll punch out a scalloped red heart and then using the 2022-2024 in color DSP, you'll dot punch out the standard heart. That is the sweet sorbet and that's real red. And of course we can't do our card without our little owl. I'm going to have you stamp him ahead of time, fussy cut him, and we'll cut the hat off in order to finish uh, the look of this little owl. Now, to color the owl, you're gonna need a number of Stampin' Blends. So I have the um, medium combination Stampin' Blends, and in case I have that wrong, here are the numbers. It's the SU-800 and the SU-400. You're gonna need a dark Tahitian Tide to color the eyes, along with the black, which we're gonna pop up the color because when you use Memento ink, it's not very dark but by adding uh, the black Stampin' Blends, it'll give it just a little more um, darkness to the, to the center of the eye. Then we will take some Wink Stella and we'll color over the surface of the eye to give them a little bit of glimmer and add a little bit of white with a white gel pen just here to also brighten the eye. Finally, you're going to need the So Saffron for the beak. Now, to get the little tiny heart inside his wings, we'll require a X-Acto knife in order to cut a little slot to tuck that heart into the wings of the owl. So I'll move all this aside for the time being. We'll get started with our card and uh, and just uh, have everything all set to go. So let's start with the card base. We're gonna fold this where I've scored it at the five and a half. We'll fold it in half. We need our bone folder to just burnish that edge. And then we'll take the piece that you've die cut using the largest frame from the deckled dies. And we're gonna use dimensionals on the back and we're going to pop up that piece. So let's add, you know, five or six dimensionals to the back. And then I like to take some liquid adhesive once I remove the backing, just to help me 
or give me a little bit of time to be able to move the layer around so that I get it centered and square on my card front. So I'll just cover the surface of those dimensionals with the liquid adhesive. And then I'll place this layer directly onto my card base. And as I mentioned, just having that liquid adhesive allows me to move it around and make sure that I've got my card layer centered, like so. All right, set that piece aside for the time being and let's uh, color our owl. So as I mentioned, I need to trim off the excess, the little hat, and I'll do that with just a pair of scissors. And the reason why I'm having you fussy cut this in advance is because as you're coloring, if you haven't cut it out, you may find that when you do finish your coloring and you add or you, um, you fussy cut the the image, you may find that there's some white spots that remain. So this will allow you just to extend the color right to the edges of your image and make sure that everything's completely covered. So I'm just gonna place that down here. I'm gonna grab a little piece of paper, copy paper, so when I'm coloring, the uh, color doesn't seep through onto the surface of my workspace and we'll start with the SU 400 and we're going to color the outer portion of the owl and I'll just quickly do that. I like using these blends because they don't leave any streaks if you were to go back over the surface and you can always darken your image by adding another layer of the Stampin' Blends alcohol ink. We'll color this piece here and the wings and then just continue around the bottom section here and then finally the last wing. All right so you can see got that layer on there and again because I've fussy cut if there was any little white spaces I can now color them in and make my image look nice and solid. So now I'll move on to the lighter color and this is the SU 800. We'll use the brush tip and we'll color in around his face and his eyes and of course the remaining portion of his ear. finish off with this color on the in the center of his of his belly I think I'll also do his feet using the same color okay just give it a little touch more right there. I think we're good. Okay, let's grab, we'll start with the black and I'll just add that black into the eyeball um, just to darken it down. And then I'll grab the dark Tahitian Tide and I will color the next ring of the eye. These color up nice and quick, especially when you're using Stampin' Blends, things move so easily. I'm gonna add the Wink of Stella now to the eye before I add the white gel pen. And I'm just gonna color over the blue and the black with the Stampin' Blend. And then I'm gonna take a white gel pen and touch just that center and see how that just pops nicely with uh, with the gel pen. 
And now I'm going to just do his beak with the dark so saffron, and that will finish the coloring of our owl. Now, if you find like I did, I got a little bit of the um, ink onto the inner portion of his eye. I'm going to attempt to take that color off or at least lighten it with my color lifter. So when you're using a color lifter, you start off the edge and you push it towards the base color. And that will help to lift it. And then once it's dry, um, it should be much lighter, if not completely gone. So you can always take your finger and put it over the surface uh, to help uh, speed up the drying process. So there. So that's not too bad. Set him aside. Now, what we need to do is we need to use an X-Acto knife and we need to cut a slot between his wings so that I can put that little heart inside. So I have, this is an old Stampin' Up little cutting pad and these are the old X-Acto knives that we used to have. Um, and we're gonna have to cut by pushing along the edge of the wing, like so. And it might take a little extra push just to get cut through. So I'll lift it up and I'll see if I can get my X-Acto knife into that spot, which I can there, but I have a little piece right here that's not quite cut through. So let's look at it from the back. So we can see that it's cut through there. Let's see if our um, die cut heart will fit inside that little slot now, which it should, just like so. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to do that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add my Wink of Stella first, and then I'll tuck it back inside. So let's grab the Wink of Stella, just to give that heart a little bit of extra glimmer. I could have used a piece of glimmer paper for this, but um, the Sweet Sorbet isn't quite as, dark of a red that I wanted. So I wanted to use something, some real red to make sure that it was nice and dark. All right, so our next step would be to try to reinsert that little heart into the wings of our owl. All right, so let's give this a go push him down in. Oh, that fit nicely. Nice and snug. All right, so he's ready to go. And if you find he's flipping up a little bit, take your, your liquid glue and just tuck a little bit of adhesive right behind, little dot, like so. And then we'll just push the heart down. So I have a little extra bit of adhesive that I don't want there. So I'm just taking a little smidge of copy paper and lifting that right out. All right, so we're gonna leave him to dry. I now wanna work on the letters. So I wanna show you what we're gonna do with that. So we'll take our letters and we're gonna use a white gel pen and we're gonna add the dots that you see on the letters here. And there's really, it's really just uh, freehand, so we're just gonna add our dots one at a time. Just, you know, try to space them out the best that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it does do is it gives that appearance of these letters a little bit more depth. So we'll just do that, rotate this, and continue with our dots. Each letter has to be added. And once we have these done, all I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure that from left to right they're more or less even, the best that you can. I'm sure I could use some sort of a tool to line this up, but I don't think it's necessary. It adds to the whimsy of the card when you're just free handing. And then finally, move on to the G. You know, there's maybe an eighth of an inch between each of these dots. I really like
liked this effect. It uh, just changes up the the look of the of the lettering. They're not as plain, I guess, as they would be just using the black cardstock. This just gives it just that wee bit more. Okay. All right, our letters are done. So we'll set those aside and we'll start our assembly. I'm gonna take, first of all, my two hearts, the ones that I punched out, and I'm just gonna adhere those directly together. So I'll just use some liquid glue. This is Tombow that's inside this little bottle in case anybody's wondering. Grab my tweezers and place them together. And then move it so that they're aligned. And that's going to go directly on our card. Then I'm going to put um, some dimensionals behind our owl. So I'll pop maybe three dimensionals on the back, depending on how many I can get, just to lift him up off the, off the heart. I'm going to put one right there where I see that the, the heart has come through the back and that will help to secure that down as well. All right, and then that one's just going to go straight there. So let's go ahead and adhere that to the heart before we actually place the whole piece down on the card base. And we're just going to center them sort of left to right, top to bottom. And that's pretty good. Okay, and he'll go on here. Now, to do the uh, letters to get them set up straight, I'm going to lay them out first and I'm going to play around with them to move them until I get them in the spot that I think it looks most centered. And then I'll uh, take my Tombow glue and I will adhere them down. So I'm going to probably do something along these lines. And the, the easiest thing to do here, what I want to make sure is that I'm sort of, I got about the same amount of space at the top as I do at the bottom. So I can move these up a little bit just to balance out my card. And I'll probably start with the left and right first, and then I'll bring the, uh, the U and the G in after. All right, so let's start with the H. Flip it over. I'll use the liquid glue. I like having a nice little fine point so that I can get into these little spaces on the letters and that I don't end up with adhesive in places that I don't want it. All right, so I'll use my grid paper to make sure that that's lined up straight. And then I'll place the H down, but I'm not pushing it down all the way just yet. What I'll do is I'll stand up here and I'll just move it around a little bit until it looks like it's nice and straight. Okay, like so. Grab the S and I'll do the same thing. And then once I have that letter down, I can move on to the U and the G. But this will give me that guideline as to, you know, how much space I have in between. And I'm honestly, I'm just eyeballing this to ensure that the top edges are matching or aligned and straight. That's pretty good. And now I'll go with the G. It's a pretty easy card to make. It's pretty quick to make. Um, just, you know, the getting everything prepared in advance just makes it so much faster. Okay, so let's place the G about here. And finally the U. And that's gonna complete our card. Like I said, this is a very simple card to make. Once you have all of your pieces 
die cut and, and you get your coloring done. I think probably the most time consuming piece is fussy cutting the owl. Um, Stampin' Up! hasn't yet. Not sure if they will. Not trying to, you know, make anybody think it's going to happen, but they don't have any dies at this point in time to coordinate with the, uh, the owls. Um, but if you have a scan and cut machine, you could probably use that uh, to die cut or to cut out the, uh, the owl relatively easily and not spend a lot of time with your scissors. All right, we'll add the G, I'm oh, sorry, the hue. G's already down. And then, oh, I'm gonna move that a bit. Then the last bit is to add in those little tiny hearts that I had uh, die cut out from the Alphabet Allen Mode set as well. Now, I'm gonna grab my Take Your Pick tool and I'm gonna place the hearts down randomly, sort of like what you see here. So um, the easiest way to do this is to start with the Tombow glue and put a little dot where you want the heart to go. So we'll put a little dot of Tombow glue there. We'll grab one of the hearts and we'll place it down. And that will, whoa, has a mind of his own today. Oh, come on. So I'll try that again. And place them right there. Okay, and then we'll put another one here. See which way it goes. <laughs> Sometimes you, they flip over on you and when you're trying to place them down, you've got the back side instead of the front side. Now that I have those two little hearts down, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my heart, my owl. See, I used, used a piece of scrap cardstock. Let's not waste, right? Don't need to see that. Anyway, so I can use that up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and center my little owl right about here. Okay. And then I'll finish off the last three tiny hearts. So I'll put one over here. I switch to my tweezers. My take a pick tool was uh, a little too big. I'll press that down. Okay, and then another one. Maybe we'll just put one right in here. And then one more probably somewhere down here. And then down here, just to kind of space out all those little hearts. Okay. And there you go. Card finished. Be a cute little card to give to somebody who's, uh, you know, not feeling well or you just want to send them love and hugs. Um, could even be a Valentine's Day card if you wanted it to be. That's completely up to you. I just want to say thank you so much for joining my video today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a, a message. I'd love to answer any questions. Leave me comments. I'd love to answer any um, comments or hear what you think about this card. What do you think about adding the dots to the, uh, the letters and, and, and how it pops? Again, if you uh, want to tune in to my next video. I have other videos that I have created using these owls and I think there'll be a lot more to come. Thanks so much for joining me today. Look forward to seeing or hearing from you in the future. Take care and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.